Hi, and welcome to another episode in my Photoshop Essential Skills series. My name's Ken Fisher, and this is Live Link Training. Now today we're going to be looking at portrait retouching. I've been putting a portrait retouching course together, and there's a couple of these little techniques that I've learned that I think are really cool. And I'm going to share a couple of them with you. Now today we're going to be looking at trying to reduce these the, the dark areas here underneath the eyes. We all have them, get a bit tired, whatever. But I don't mean wrinkles. Wrinkles are something different. I'll be dealing with wrinkles in another video. But for today, we're looking at the, the, the dark areas under their eyes. Now, if you're a fan of the printed page, I have put together a little ebook for you. And you can download it. All you do is just click the more section under the video and click on the link. And there you'll have it. OK, then. Well, let's get started. OK, let's make a start. I want to have a look at this image. Let's zoom in a little bit. I'll press Control and Plus just to zoom in just a tad, just to have a look. And then I can space bar drag just to bring it into the middle somewhere. There we go. And this isn't bad, but I'd just like to try and make it a little bit better. And there are some dark areas here. Now, well, I suppose the go to tool for this is the patch tool. So let's have a go at that. So I'll duplicate the layer and we'll just call it background copy and I'll just compare the two and then I'll go for my patch tool and all I'm going to do on this top layer I'm going to draw around the dark area something like that and then I'll click and I'll drag to a, a place where there's some, some decent pixels some decent tones somewhere here and I'll let go and then I'll deselect and it's well, it's not made a bad job it's not great let's have a look it's what I call a bit mushy because it, it, it's it's actually doing a blend and it's blended some pixels together and I've I've probably gone a little bit far because I've got some of the eyelashes in it as well and that's not working very well so what we can do we can just to put a little bit of detail back we can reduce the opacity a little bit of that top layer just to try and give a little bit of detail back well, that's certainly better, but for me, it's like we've got a little bit of a blend going on here, and it's just, well, it's just a bit mushy. I'm not that keen on it. So let's just make a group of that, just so we can compare the two when we've finished. And then I'll switch that off. And then we'll go back onto the background again. Now, the technique I'm going to use involves using an adjustment layer. In particular a curves one so I'm going to go down and I'm going to get one so here we go we've got a curves adjustment layer and I'm just going to make sure that it's the adjustment and not the mask that is active so I'm just going to click on that adjustment just so it deselects the mask and then over in the properties panel you can see the curve but this little top eye dropper here I'm going to double click on that and that's going to bring me up my color picker now, what I'm going to do here is I've got my little eyedropper. I'm going to pick a, a decent colour that's lighter than the tones that are in this dark area. So I will go to somewhere in the middle of the cheek and I'll click and maybe come down into his area and click again. Yeah, that's probably better. So I've got a, a lighter skin tony colour. Now I'm going to click OK. It'll bring up this little dialog that says, do you want to set these as defaults? Well, no, I don't. Just click no. And now I'm going to click in the dark area. So somewhere here and I'll click and it goes a bit nuclear. And this is basically around the color that we've selected that skin tone. So it will vary, but we'll go with this and see what it looks like. And now I'm going to go over and click on my mask. I want that mask to be active and then I need to invert it because this is over the whole image and I only want it over this little piece here because I'm going to just use it to try and overlay it, the color of the skin tone that I've selected. So I'm going to invert this mask and to do that I'm going to use Control or Command I. And now I need to pick my brush and I can do that by pressing the B key and make sure that white is my foreground color. If it's not press the X key or you can, if they're different colours, you can press the D key to reset them and then the X key to toggle them. 
and I want to toggle them till white is at the front. I've got a reasonable size brush, 30 pixel brush here, and it's got a nice soft edge on it. And I'm just going to paint into this area here. Try and paint into the dark areas. And I'll try and avoid the eyelashes. There we go. So we're just going to paint over that area like that. Now it looks a bit rough, um, but it will improve a little bit now once we start feathering this to try and blend it in a little bit. So I'm going to get the feather slider and start dropping it down and you do get to a bit of a sweet point if you go too far it starts breaking through and it starts getting dark again but somewhere in the middle there is a point that it blends in quite nicely there we go just zoom out a little bit on that and i think that's not bad so i'll click off and on say that's before and after now i've probably gone a little bit over the edge but it is on the mask so i can get rid of that i can take that off on the mask by painting with black but i quite like that right let's try the other eye and for this i'm going to need another adjustment so i'm going to go down and i'm going to select a curves adjustment again exactly the same i'm going to click on the actual adjustment to make sure that the mask not active I'm going to double click on the little eyedropper and then I'm going to select a skin tone somewhere maybe there and then I'll click OK. Do I want to do this? No I don't. And now I'm going to click in the darker part so somewhere there. I'm going to click. Oh that looks a bit weird. All right but never mind we're going to click back on the mask and we're going to invert that mask again with Control or Command and I. And then I'm going to get my paintbrush with my B key. I'm painting with white already. And I'm just painting away underneath this little area under the eye. Oh, I think I went a bit far there. Okay, I'm going to press the X key and just get rid of that. And then I'll press the X key again to start painting again. Okay, let's give that a go. So again, we've now got this so we can feather it. So I'm going to go to the feather slider in the properties panel and I'm going to feather it off. And again, we get to a sweet spot that looks pretty good. OK, let's group them together. If I select them and press Ctrl and G or Command and G, I'll put them into a group. And now I can contrast and compare. So I can turn that off and say that's the original and that's with the adjustment. And I think that looks pretty cool. But if I use the patch tool, I do get it's a it's a result, but it's a little bit muddy. But this one I've actually got, I've maintained all the detail. You can still see the detail. All I've done is I've overlaid a little bit of the skin color over the top. And I think it looks much more natural. Let's have a look at that just to take it out a little bit and we'll go before and after and before and after and I think that's a pretty good retouch and a result. Well that's it for this video I do hope you liked it if you did give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment under the video that's even better or even better share it with a friend or two that's even fantastically better and don't forget check out the more section underneath the video to see if there's a link there with any download files or any free ebooks that I might publish. And please click that subscribe button and help me to build up my Photoshop learning community. I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.